The world is drowning in plastic, and the artist Mandy Barker collects it on the beaches and in the seas throughout the world and displays it to illustrate what we cannot otherwise see. That plastic is now an integral part of our oceans, like algae and plankton. But paradoxically, in our seas and our oceans far from sight, we can only find a small amount of the plastic waste that we produce. So what happens to it? Is it at the bottom of the ocean? Has it made its way into the food chain? Has it disintegrated in such tiny pieces that we lose all trace of it? Scientists from around the world are on the case and are wondering whether it is modifying the ecosystem without us being able to measure the consequences. In Massachusetts in the USA, Kara Lavender Law leads the Sea Education Association programs which for 35 years have taught students about navigation and oceanography. Their two boats have trawled through the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans for years. Kara Lavender Law therefore has the most extensive series of samples of ocean plastic going back in time. Looking at her collection, she came up with an original question. Because we have such a long time series in the North Atlantic, we were able to ask the question, in the region of the ocean where the plastics accumulate, is that amount of plastic increasing over time? But what data do we have today? According to recent studies, the number of bits of plastic on the surface could be up to 50,000 billion pieces. They're everywhere, from the Arctic to the Antarctic via the tropics. They are often almost invisible because the immense majority of these pieces measure less than five millimeters. We also know that a good half of these pieces accumulate at the heart of whirlpools of water formed by the marine currents oceanic gyre.